All right, let's get to it. All right, this is Bear Thoughts Manga, and I might review the day of Deadpool Samurai. Yeah, since the whole Deadpool is a big of a fan thing right now. Well, well Deadpool just came out maybe a couple months ago or, or weeks ago. I can't remember at this point. It's a big thing right now. So right around before they just released the Deadpool movie 3 or the Deadpool and Wolverine, they decided to come out with two mangas of Deadpool written by the... Sorry if I'm butchering anybody's names here because, <laughs> again, I don't speak Japanese fluently. Shimmer, uh, Shinshro... Kame, the story, and for the artist is Hikaru Izugi. Again, sorry if I'm saying the names wrong. So apparently these two have been doing a bit of a Marvel Deadpool kind of thing going on for a while. So apparently there's several other one of these if you're interested. But this is a two-part version of it. So you got one and two is released. The story is about Deadpool going to Japan and meeting up with another OC character, original character to it called Sukuri spider or sucre spider kind of a japan's version of spider girl if you want to be wondering and the, on the way they have a bunch of cameos of captain america the avengers loki and sometimes venom comes, comes all into it apparently you know, there's a spider-man there's always gonna be a venom and while they're going over there deadpool is trying to make a new group called japanese samurai the yeah, editor grump here uh correct that not japanese samurais it's samurai squad so yeah let's fix that real quick and Apparently, Iron Man wanted him to make the group, so th there might be some corrections in the video that I'm going to just put in, just put in words right down here so I don't have to make a bunch of these, so uh, keep watching. Hope you enjoy. You know, hence the name Samurai in the front of it. He's, he, of course, he's all in fashion of Deadpool. He knows he's in the show and jump, and he's excited to be able to finally be a part of their little, you know, fancy lines of mangas and animes out there, in this case, manga, and... It goes through the classic of Deadpool. You know, he makes his joke, fourth wall breaking. He kills some people. He gets killed himself a couple of times. And, of course, he regenerates because he's Deadpool. Of course, he calls out to the Avengers. And the Avengers are like, oh, no, not happening. But Mer Captain America is here to help him out. And later on, All Might shows up because it's a, it's a shonen manga. Of course, he's going to show up. Um, Of course, Loki's trying to recruit Deadpool to be part of his little villain, of villain group. Because, you know, Deadpool is kind of a anti-hero he's not really a good guy he's not really a bad guy but loki thought hey you you seem like pretty bad to me join our group and of course deadpool in deadpool fashion says no he's trying to defeat him then at some point then venom shows up and part of a i guess as far as i can understand it a girl idol i am not quite sure what's going on with that but apparently venom got attached to one of her but then gets attached with some other people later on venom is uh also an anti-hero not sure he's really good not really sure he's really bad but Right now, he's bad in this one. So let's just go jump into the character. Now, character, we everybody knows who Deadpool is. There is no there is no character growth in this. It is Deadpool it through and through. It's the Avengers. If you know about Deadpool already, you already know about his all character. There is no beginning to this and growth of a character. This is just jumping right into what we already know as Deadpool. So if you're a Deadpool fan. There is no character growth. You already know who Deadpool is. We don't need to worry about that. But if you're a first person just now getting into Deadpool, you have no clue what this guy's about. Not a single single clue. You get some rough ideas, but otherwise you're lost in the sauce. So for me, I'll give this one a two. There is no there is no growth in this character. There's not even growth in a new OC character. You pretty much get a sensual. She's pretty much a hero too that wants to join and help Deadpool, but she's pretty much Japan's version of Spider-Man. Just female. Also, Spider-Man joins in later on. Think about that. Yeah, it's the Captain America shows up. You know already know about Captain America if you already know about the Avengers. So there is no growth of it. So I give it a two. It it doesn't really hurt it. And you would definitely have to be a fan in order to read this. So if you're not a fan of Deadpool, you might want to look up, you know, look it up first, see who Deadpool is. Then you jump into this or watch the movies if you want a, a real good idea of the growth. Now, I would say this is this is going to be part of the the art. Now, the art is nice. Art is a very pleasant version of it. It has that it has that manga feel to it. It looks like a manga. It plays out like a manga, but I can't help but feel like since I'm American, it just has how it comes for me. I can't help but feel like there's it still feels like a it's like a comic at times. It really does. The art style kind of pulls off to that, but then it pulls back into the anime style. I like the anime style of all the new characters. Deadpool just looks like Deadpool. It's really hard how can you change Deadpool into an anime character when it's just 
mask, right? He really can't change his any other features on him because he's pretty much the suit for Captain America when he showed up, the Spider Girl when he showed up, the the uh, of course Iron Man who's also just suit. You can't really change Iron Man, so that she looks like Iron Man. Um, when All Might showed up, he he fit right in. So the art style is nice. It does get a little bloody because it well it's terrible. It, it, I just it feels like it feels like the middle of the road. It just feels like a manga, but it doesn't really go into the deep grittiness of it. But it's still a pleasant read. I give the art style eight. It is it's just above the board for me, really. I always say seven's right right, right in the middle of the board, but then you get below seven, you're probably doing pretty bad. All right, so next we're gonna go for story. Now, story for me. It's not that interesting. It's not that involved. And for Deadpool, really, the story really boils down to the comedy of it, right? It's not just about the action. It's not about just the villain showing up and and all that stuff and the questions, right? There is a story here. There's a two part. You know, it, it has a beginning and an end, right? And there there is a an essential guideline or essential endpoint to this story beating Loki and his villain group and putting a stop to it and Deadpool becoming a part of the Avengers or him starting his own group, the Samurai Squad, you know, Death Squad, whatever you want to call it. There's that, but it it's not that engaging. But the fourth wall breaking was not that funny. The comedy to me was not that funny. I barely even got a chuckle out of this while I was watching the Deadpool movies and I was bawling out laughing. It's nothing against the writer of this thing. I just don't feel like they have a real grasp on the humor that maybe Americans are used to. Maybe the humor is more toward Japanese people or even Filipino, whoever, right? Maybe it has, it has more humor to you and which is great love it glad you you got a laugh out of that real hard chuckle for me i had a hard time finding a lot of funny funny things in this thing that i'm used to used to in the deadpool movies or in the classic video games or in the classic comic books that had me busting out laughing so story i had to give it a a six i didn't i didn't really love the story but i still bought both of them and read them now last one transformative this one i have to get the highest score on it is finally taking marvel right marvel that i i kind of grew up on marvel and D and dc i had comic books when i was a kid and it's already comic books are really struggling right now and i've always said i like the storytelling a little bit better of manga than i do in comic books modern day personally it's a personal thing and i'm glad that they decided finally to break it and go hey Let's break the wall. Let's go just go to try to do some anime or manga versions of our beloved characters. And let's try to actually break into that. And I appreciate that so much that they're trying to break the boundaries and reach new audiences and reach new people and a very, uh, you know, with a very iconic character. And I'm glad they do that. But they still have that that grasp of of comic book roots and has still that that feel of a comic book rather than fully feeling like a manga just yet i feel like who the writer was even though they most likely are japanese and their names definitely suggested i don't really know if they're new at writing or they don't have that many like i looked at their mangas i couldn't at glance figure out what their really more known mangas were prior to this but i feel like they just took some name or maybe an unknown names or not very well-established names and went, hey, write us a manga and draw it for us and let's put it out there because it'll sell because it's Deadpool. So for for that, I would say for Transformative, i give it an 8.5. It was, I'm glad that they did it, but they could have they knocked this one out the park if they had better writing. Keep the humor of Americans, right? Or something Or humor for Americans because it's, it's all about it's not about the slapstick. It's sometimes about the witty humor or timing of humor. Uh, but at the same time, keep the story writing of a of a, of a a manga, of an anime. You know, that kind of rhythm and pacing that I really liked and and not some of the other values that some other artists in America like to put into their stuff. If you know what I'm talking about, you should know. I'm not going to go into details here. So overall scaling, we got a two. Shoot, I got to watch <laughs> I'll, I'll rewatch it, make sure my scoring is right, but I give a 6.5, if not a 7. It's the middle of the road pass. 
I would say even if you're a Deadpool fan out there, you might get it just because it's Deadpool. But otherwise, if you're out there, this is your first time getting into Deadpool, or you know, let's say your first time even getting into manga, this is a pass for me. I will not suggest you getting this. Again, if you're a Deadpool fan, sure, collect them, collect them, all, collect them all. But if this is your first entry to mangas and your first time into Deadpool, I would say pass on this one. Sorry. I, I don't really regret buying them. I'm glad there's only two of them, right? Glad there's only two of the story for Deadpool. And uh, it, the other ones, I probably won't pick up. If they're, they're written by the same person and drawn by the same person, they're, I'm not going to pick up the rest of these. This is just not. This is a kind of a letdown in a lot of ways for what I know about Deadpool. Um, and it mostly boils down to the, the art feel of it and the story. That's just, that's, 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 that's the clear truth of it. And of course, being that this was the first entry for some of the Deadpool, you have no idea who the, who, who the heck this guy is, other than dude with a mouth and he cannot die. That's all you pretty much know. So, sorry, passing this one. But as always, have a good day, have a good night, have a good life, much love, y'all. Bye.